All right, guys, so the day is the day. The sixth anniversary will be starting on Global in roughly eight hours from the time this video comes out. And like I said, I will be live as soon as everything drops. Actually, probably about half an hour before just to allow people time to, you know, make their way into the stream and get a full house. So if you guys are free around 8 p.m. Eastern Time or 5 p.m. Pacific Time tonight, definitely tune in. It should be pretty crazy. It should be pretty crazy. And also, of course, a lot of fun. Now, as expected this morning, we did get a final data download to just add in all the assets we need for part one of the anniversary. So in this video, we are gonna quickly take a look at everything. Now, uh, before we jump into it, a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for uh, you know giving us all these assets. Uh, if you guys aren't following him already, go ahead and do so. This guy is very close actually to, not super close, but pretty close to a thousand followers. Let's try to get him there by the end of the sixth anniversary, okay? Because he has helped your boy Tiger a lot. He's contributed a lot to the Dokkan community, and I just feel like he de deserves a lot more recognition, you know? So uh, yeah, go follow Proton10MG, really good guy. From there, we have a bunch of assets, of course. The first thing is the translated STR UI Goku, who we get for our first login, as well as more copies throughout the entire celebration through missions and such. And, um, you know, he is the special anniversary for the play unit. Like every single year we get a new Goku holding a Dragon Ball to represent the anniversary. So of course this guy is holding a six star Dragon Ball in his hand. And uh, some people might use him for, you know, super attack purposes for the LR, which you could do. I think that's fine, but I would just keep him and rainbow him because obviously like these guys are pretty special, right? So. For collector purposes, I wouldn't, you know, use him for super attack food, but it's up to you, of course. And then we also have the translated SSR, uh, Tech Master Roshi and Tien, and uh, of course they do get a Dokkan Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening later on, but for now, in part one, we only have their, like, SSR form. And same thing for the Krillin in 18, who uh, also will get the EZA, or Awakening and EZA later on too. And there's also the Fizz SSR Master Roshi, along with his TUR, I believe. There we go, the TUR Roshi 2. And uh, we will be farming all three of these units, getting them rainbowed and ready to, you know, token awaken um, in today's stream. So uh, it should probably be a pretty long stream, because on top of that, we also have the God of Destruction Stages 2, which I will be attempting. I, I can't promise I'll actually clear them on stream, but we're trying our best. I'm definitely going to attempt them. Uh, the first one we have is God of Destruction. God of Destruction. Is it Ewan or Iwan? I, I don't know. Like I, I don't remember his name actually being said in the anime. So I'm going to say Ewan because it sounds right to me. But there's the first God of Destruction. And then the second God of Destruction is Hellas, the Egyptian god. The third one here for stage three, which is Moscow, the giant robot guy. And uh, finally, number four is the mouse dude, Quitella, and he will be the final stage we have available until part two comes around and we get four more. And then we also get four more for part three. And uh, like I said, man, I will, be, I will be trying to clear these on stream. It might be a struggle because I've heard they're pretty hard, but um, you guys know, man, I have a pretty good box, so. If I struggle, I'm sure I can find the right combination. Um, I will be doing my research, of course, to make sure I can, you know, set myself up for success. But if I struggle, I'm sure the stream can help me out and we can, you know, work it out together, right? And after that, we have a couple of translated categories. The first one is Turtle School, which honestly, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I did not know this was not a category because I think in my mind, uh, you know, I was thinking of like the Turtle School link, right? And I just assumed there was also a Turtle School category. <laughs> and no, it turns out, no, Roshi is actually the first Turtle School leader, which is uh, really cool. It's, it's obviously fitting, right? He deserves that title, but um, I just always assumed we had a Turtle School category. I don't know why. It must be the link. It must just be like, I thought the link, you know, also 
included the category. Anyways, um, from there we have the Miraculous Awakening category, which is Goku's new category, the LR Goku that is. And uh, we also have the Vegeta category, which is called Powerful Comeback. Um, I forgot what it was called on JP, but on Global it's called Powerful Comeback. And uh, we also have a bunch of uh, translations for support memories. And the first one is the Oolong's Wish. We got the Frieza Fury um, support memory. We have the translated support memory for Pull the Tail Out with the GT Goku. We have First Taste of Tempura with uh, Whis. We also have Master and Disciple's Goal. I think this is the Piccolo and Gohan one, yep. And we also have the Zeno um, support memory assets as well. And uh, finally, oh, we have the Fly Icarus assets. So there you go, a bunch of support memories are now translated, are ready for use in the game. We've had like that little extra square um, beside our support items for a while now, right? But now we can actually, you know, put support memories there and make use of that feature. And uh, yeah, after that we have a new login screen. So some assets for the login screen. Um, it's what JP got for their anniversary with the, you know, all the Universe 7 guys. And then we have a new Battlefield screen as well for the special edition of uh, Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash um, for the anniversary, right? With like the new, you know, Topo, Dispo, Jiren bosses, Kefla, so on and so forth. And uh, there's also the new Trade Jewels or Dragonstones, Red Dragonstone number 12, and Purple Dragonstone number 7. They will be given out. Actually, no, the Red Dragonstone will be given out at login, and the Purple Dragonstone is, as always, purchasable with stone packs. Um, so, yeah, that is not a surprise. And we also have two tickets. The first one is the 66 Special Summon Ticket. The other one is the rainbow ticket, so these are finally confirmed, you know, for the first time because before this we just kind of assumed that Global was always also was also going to be getting them, but we didn't know for sure, right? And now it is officially confirmed because we have them in the assets. They are in English as well, so that's pretty nice. And uh, the other ticket is the beginners ticket. Now this is for the renewed um, beginners pack in the Pilaf's Trove, and honestly, as far as that pack is concerned, it's not a bad deal for new players. Like, for me, it's not as much value because I really can't get anything with this ticket because uh, I'm pretty sure the entire selection for me is rainbowed, but if you're a newer player um, looking to get a head start, it's actually not that expensive of a pack, and the ticket is actually solid for the units you can choose, and uh, also I think it gives you some stones, which is also a nice bonus, so there's that. And uh, one thing that you might have noticed is missing is, you know, the dual Dokkan Fest tickets. Okay, we don't have dual Dokkan Fest A and B tickets, or rather just Dokkan Festival A and B tickets um, for, you know, the Goku and Vegeta banners. But that doesn't mean we're not getting the tickets necessarily, because there's still going to be another data download before the banners drop in about two days from now, or two and a half days from now. So... That's when I expect us to get the dual Dokkan Festival tickets, okay? Um, it would just be insane to me if we don't get those. So I'm gonna proceed with the assumption that, yeah, we're gonna get those tickets. We're getting those tickets. So there you go, guys. That was everything that was added to the data download, or rather, added to the database through this data download. Uh, once again, big, big shout out to Proton10MG. Let's get him to 1k follows as soon as we can. Uh, before the anniversary ends would be amazing, but even earlier than that would be best, right? So, yeah, go ahead and do that if you guys have a Twitter account. <laughs> and also, uh, let's hop over to the Dokkan Wiki real quick to take a look at the release times. So, for the Goku and the, you know, Gohan and Piccolo, and for the Vegeta and the Gohan and um, uh, Frieza, these are not officially scheduled because we don't know exactly when they're coming, but my prediction is uh, gonna be you know the standard release time of 11.30 p.m. Pacific time on the 8th or 2.30 a.m. Eastern time on the 9th. And uh, as far as the other guys go, the free-to-play units go, we know we got the Roshi, we got uh, Krillin and 18, Roshi and Tien. Uh, these guys should be coming out 
at the time the anniversary starts, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Time once again in roughly eight and a half hours, about eight hours by the time this video drops, or maybe a little bit less than that, depending on how long it takes me to get it up, but that sounds weird. Um, <laughs> the point is, though, they're coming soon, guys. They're coming soon. Uh, we're going to farm all of them. We're going to do the God of Destruction events, uh, as you can see down here. Um, they're also releasing at the same time, right? Eight hours, 25 minutes, eight hours, 25 minutes, eight hours, 25 minutes, eight hours, 25 minutes. And also the Majin Buu's Shape Up Training, eight hours and 25 minutes. So I will see you at that time, probably a little bit earlier. Get ready, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome. And uh, that's it. That is today's video. That is your data download. Um, hope you guys are hyped. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.